Hey guys, John here on Boundless Spirits. So today's gonna be a quick one. We're gonna be talking about our tower gardens or aeroponic gardens. So as you can see here, it's a, it's a tower garden with various different plant life, kale, some of these I don't quite know. Uh, we got chard, red chard, rainbow chard, even mint over here. This is mint. Mmm, smells so good. Mm -hmm. So the way it works is we've got this basin down here that pumps water all the way to the top here. And natural physics, gravity, if you want to call it that, rains the water down on the cubes that house the plant, giving it nutrients. So you put, a nu uh, put nutrients into the water itself, and if you want to purchase one of these, it'll give you instructions of how to do that. Um, that all you really need is just water and the nutrient solution and it feeds the plants getting it this big in weeks this what weeks. what like okay so they start out yeah. in these little what are these husks what are these yeah called? these are rock wool husks so they start out with the, we put the seeds in there and they sprout out until they get about what two, two one inches? to two inches yeah and then when they do that they grow these roots which this one is starting to root but barely um, and then we put them into these little, little slots and then the roots go down through yeah. the shaft. I can show you. You got, you got the knife and stuff? Hold on. Okay. Well, the roots go down in the shaft and the water comes down, sprinkles down to the roots and it grows. And we... We got this back in the, at the end of April. In April. And then the sprout process the was what, six weeks, right? No. Uh, it was like five weeks. Five weeks. Yeah. And then after that, when we put it, when we put them in here, oh my God, they just begin to sprout. And I'll probably do like a. Grow. Yeah, grow. Um, I'll probably do like a video, maybe yeah. like a, like a collective this, video. Let's do of, this um, mint over here. Let me show you this mint. Showing the process or so the progress. Okay. Yeah, so this so, is like mint that you put in mojito. <laughs> so check <laughs> out use it. all that. Yeah, so that is the roots. Oop, you get a good. Yeah, so that goes down in here. You can see uh, the roots of the other Yeah, this other is plants. the roots of the ones that are above it. So the water legit like sprinkles down and it just wets the roots and they grow like you don't need any soil. Yeah, sucks up the water. And... Uh, there's no bugs. Like the only thing that's like the drawback is the lights because they're just on like how many hours? Uh, fourteen hours. But you get used to it. You do get used to it. They're on a timer up here, and they go off for like six hours or something. They're mostly on most of the day because this waters for how? What's the time it waters then? Oh, so since it's it's set on indoor, the timer is over here. This is the timer set on indoor right now. It goes off every 45 minutes for five minutes, I believe. And our microgreens, you got to excuse them. We got, we got to start over because we kind of like did not <laughs> do them right. So they're like struggling. But we have grow lights for our microgreens. Yeah, so um, this is going to be an eggplant. So we put like the heavy stuff at the bottom. So he's going to be sprouting some some tomatoes so like the big stuff you'll put at the bottom so that it this like best basin thing can like you know carry the weight and these rainbow char we've cooked with this a couple of times like the food tastes oh, superb like you so can good. taste the difference like we ate a salad we harvested let's go over here and show them the other one man yeah um we harvest one of these lettuce heads uh like a week ago and we ate a salad at around like 11 something in the morning we literally didn't get hungry until like four in the afternoon and this yeah, is a we, salad we had one bowl yeah each yeah and we you know we had like tomatoes it had you know stuff in it but <laughs> salads don't usually fill you up you know like that so yeah it was very filling and very satisfying this is romaine lettuce like this has sprouted honestly wonderfully i don't i didn't even i just look up and they're like super sprouted it's crazy these are cilantro yeah, cilantro so, more is this kale over here is this is kale yeah that's kale okay. so i didn't really go into the names this is a green um, onions this is a tower garden home which has the 
baby green ports. That's what these two are up here. It's for like herbs and baby greens. You sprinkle over your salad or what have you. Uh, this one has a 13 gallon basin down here. So this one isn't as big as the other one. This is only 13 gallons instead of yeah. 20. And, and then some more kale over here. And, and the other one over there is a tower garden flex. Yeah, and this is the 20. The 20 gallon. Yeah. So, so. it was pretty simple to set up. Um, if you guys if you guys are interested in getting one of these, it's very little maintenance. You just, you know, clip off any of the shavings. Just, you know, just tending to your garden. Just do that in the morning. It takes like five, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys are interested in growing your own food, which recommended during this time of struggle, you to do that so you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money in the long run. Um, we'll leave uh, the link in the bio, or not in the bio, the uh, description. The description. Rainbow chart to the website so you can make the purchases and the good thing is you don't have to buy them buy the whole thing outright You can do a payment plan. I think it's 12 month payment plan. Mm -hmm. No interest. No interest. Yeah So yeah, that's that's the tar garden. We've been talking about for the last like few weeks or the couple videos we um, Done and yeah, we just wanted to show you guys this I mean, it's it's a difference like I, I can't even imagine like eating salad or lettuce or anything from another i mean of course yeah, we don't can, we're not planning everything but you can literally taste the difference though like, yeah like this the leafy green lettuce it tastes so much different from store-bought lettuce like you go to the store-bought lettuce you can tell the difference because when you go when you buy the store-bought lettuce it doesn't taste like anything like you tell me guys like does store-bought lettuce taste like anything because <laughs> it doesn't to me when i when i eat the the lettuce we grow in our tower gardens, it tastes vastly different. Like it's got, it's got like, like spice, uh, flavor. You can even taste the nutrients. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys have any uh, questions, just uh, leave them comments, whatever. We'll be happy to uh, answer them. And yeah, let us know what you think. If you're interested, there, there'll be a link in the description and we will see you soon. See you soon, guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. My catch. <laughs>